we got the news announcement that there's going to be a new Monica Rambo Photon limited series coming to Marvel Comics. And for us, we got a top 10 list of things we would like to see from this new series coming out by Marvel. And for you listeners out there, we'd like to know what you guys want to see for this future series that's coming out shortly. So here it is. Number 10 for me personally would be like to see Photon, a.k.a. Monica, team up with, I believe, the current Captain Universe, Tamara DeVoe. You're talking about two powerful black superheroines in space teaming up to defeat whoever, right? I would like to see like a tag team partnership between the two of them. Maybe even even if it was for a single issue where they cross paths. I'm not sure what the storyline is, but I think that'd be dope. I think that'd be a dope kind of a character examination. You got two powerful black women as superheroes in the Marvel Universe and just kind of like compare and contrast in their lifestyles. And they kind of fit that same mold, I think, for the most part. I think they kind of fit that same mold. They're kind of cut from like, almost like the same cloth of that Marvel history in space. So I think that'd be cool to see those two in some, not on Earth, uh, definitely somewhere in space, somewhere in the galaxy. One, if even if it's just one issue, I think that'd be really cool to see those two kind of team up to defeat something and we can get sort of like a nice characterization of both of them definitely a strong way to lead off with a top 10 uh, by bringing her into the fray captain universe is definitely one of my favorite characters uh coming in at number nine uh, i'm just going to start off with the cringe moment in this video unfortunately uh, we know the main people the, the, the our main audience are white males and you have to ask yourself, um, are you gonna, who are you selling this book to? Um, you're gonna have to sell it to everybody, but your main target audience is white males because those are the guys that go out and buy the books. Um, you're gonna have to make, I, this is the cringe moment, but coming in at my number nine, you're gonna have to make it fly on the white males. If you want to sustain this drive and maybe for it to blossom into something else, that's just the sad truth. Uh, we don't, we do not have a lot of support in our own community when it comes to mainstream or underground black characters as far as buying power. So you're definitely gonna have to make this pliable. How do you do that without it overshadowing Monica Rambo? Introduce a brand new white character into the fray. Have her be the sidekick. Don't let him be woke. Don't let him be anti-woke. Just let him just be a white dude with some superpowers. That's it. Insert white dude with superpowers. That's enough to get the issues going, the, the comics out of the stores. Um, you can kind of do your agenda, what you want to do after the fact, but you're going to have to give a white... Now, uh, make sure he's a sidekick. He needs to be looking up to her, reporting to her. Maybe this is a character that gets in trouble or... or, or or, or starts being endowed with some type of powers. Maybe he has powers that's reminiscent of, of what she has. But unfortunately, until we can get more of our people into buying comics, you're going to have to make it viable. That's the cringe. That's the nasty, ugly truth. Coming in at number eight for me would be the acknowledgement of her past. I like to see some of that history come up somewhere in the storyline of her leading the Avengers, her time in Next Wave, Agents of Hate, her time in the Mighty Avengers. I like to have something of a tie-in between all three of that period of her timeline, her history, so that maybe we can tie up some loose ends. We can see maybe some nostalgia from her, some kind of acknowledgement of what she's gone through so far in her character, in the history of the character. I think that'd be really cool. Coming in for me at number seven, uh, <laughs> I'm about to call this one, Shit or Girl at the Pot. I mean, one moment she's rocking a blue Marvel's jacket, the next moment she's not. Um, yeah, we got to do something about that. Like, are you, are we y'all together? Y'all not? Like, I know a lot of people have issues and they want to have this make-believe thing that Marvel hates black love or whatever. Um, well, Marvel hates Marvel and DC both. Um, if you really look at comics, you actually read them instead of just you know going off what a YouTuber says. Like, there's been a lot of relationships that have lasted and a lot of people have broken up. Like, Spider-Man isn't with Mary Jane. Uh, Clark Kent isn't with Lois currently right now. And, they, and people, and things kind of come and go. We have had relationships in the past. They've been ignored. Or people just didn't think they were cool because it wasn't a child in the storm. I mean, that's just, that's another cringe, but it's the truth. Like, there's been a lot of relationships in comics 
Um, Marriage-wise, not a lot. I mean, your first marriage was Mal Duncan and Bumblebee, but nobody cared, right? So it's like, I'm going to be honest with you, we don't control what happens as much, but um, I would like to see her either move on with Blue Marvel or move on with somebody else. Um, And I want this one to stick. Um, So that would definitely be my number seven. You know, stop rocking this man jacket if y'all not even together. Give me back my jacket. Coming in at number six, I want to see a good fight. I want to see a good fight. I want to see a slobber knocker between Monica Rambo and somebody. I want to see something that's going to take like a whole issue to resolve. I, I want some intelligence, some trickery. Some, I want like a really nice, dramatic, entertaining kind of show her feet a new feet kind of fight you know what i'm saying i think that would be really i mean any comic book series you got to have action especially with a superhero joint you got to have action words dialogue that ain't that isn't good by itself and i don't think this is a sci-fi book per se so i don't think it's going to be the power of intelligence so to speak um to solve the conflict of the series but i want to see a fight i want to see her really cut loose get in there show her power show her strength show all the experience she's gained throughout the years and see it really come come full strength on the page make monica rambeau uh leader of her team her own team that would be my number five i mean it's simple man it's she's led the avengers before back in the 80s i think you grab some villains uh convert them to good guys grab some good guys and just get me a great title maybe issue number four Five day battle, six, you know, it's a precursor that's leading up to another brand new series that's coming up where she's the leader. That's my number five. Coming in at number four, I want to see an original new villain for this limited series. I want to see her have a direct nemesis, somebody that correlates her on the opposite end. We have Flash, Anti-Flash, I mean, Reverse Flash. We got Spider-Man, we got Venom, we got Superman, Bizarro. I want to see her have a really dope anti nemesis anti monica rimbo so to speak and i think it's time she gets something something of a new a new original character a new villain something that might give entry to the series you know and honestly it makes it a key as well automatically that would give some buzz new new villain new key to collect and it gives some entry to the series like a new character oh what's this character about Monica Rambeau has to go against a new foe that's testing her limits. And someone's going to have the job. Someone will have the job to the new villain, sure. Someone will have the job, take an L, so that we can get the villain kind of pumped up. And then that'll be, that'll showcase something of a worthy opponent for Monica. But I think she needs a new villain. She needs a nemesis. Let's give her a character that can, a villain that can coordinate directly with her so that whenever we see this character pop up in the future, we know that Monica isn't too far behind. Coming in at my number three, this is very important. As a matter of fact, this is like one of the first things people were complaining about when they first heard of this series. You got four different aliases. You need to pick one and go sit down. I mean, either you're gonna be Captain Marvel, Photon, Spectrum, or Pulsar, but your sweetheart, pick one and go sit down, please. Marvel, help her, do something, man, because all this back and forth, <clears throat> every couple of years, you got a different name. I mean, I, I, I can deal with the costumes, but you gotta go pick one name and deal with it, and just, just, that's it. You know, all this switching up, pick a name, go sit down, thank you. Coming in at number two for me is, I wanna see a reason to see her again. I wanna see this series do well. I want the story to be good. I want them to wrap things up, but also plan a few seeds for something for her in the future. Something for her or the Marvel Universe to deal with where her expertise and her and her history and her experience with the series might lead to an advantage the next time this conflict might show up. Because with the limited series, you tell a story and most of the time they don't really give you that next feeling or wanting or, or drop drop those bombs of something that'll get you excited to see them again. I like we want to we should want to demand another five series, five issues more after this is done. That to me 
it's a great job of a limited series where you can wrap it up, you do a good job, you tell the story, you expand the character, and then you also give us a feeling of wanting more. So whenever she pops up next, it could be a team up book, it could be whatever. We want to see more of that character. And we're, we're willing to shell our dollars to keep riding on that character's journey. And I think that would be a great thing to implement, implement with this limited series run. But here we go. Number one, man, what you got? So coming in number one, you got to have two essential ingredients, which is a key first appearance and you got to have a mystery. There's, there's got to be something that's in the six issue run that makes me want to go from page to page, from issue to issue, and leave me in suspense. There's got to be a question mark at the end of every issue. If you don't have that, then why should I buy the next one? Your variant covers, they got to be on point. You know, you got a lot of dope artists out there, you know, that haven't really been utilized. Enough. She needs to have several different, one for 25, one for 15, one for 100, spend the money. Look what happened with Nubia. Such a dope character with a, with a lot of dope variants. That's why that character stuck around as long as, she, as, as she's sticking around now. I mean, a lot of what she's doing is because based off of her variants are so hot, people are buying them. Uh, Monica Rambo really needs to be you know, pushed into the next stratosphere, but you can't do it without those two key ingredients, man. Um, but again, thanks for watching. I hope the book is successful. We need to have something that's going to get this an ongoing series. The only two characters that got it in Marvel Comics is Black Panther and Miles Morales. And one of them being a legacy character, the other one being an uh, original character. Um, Monica Rambeau has a big future. I understand she has this, uh, they say that she's going to have limited, um, unlimited power, but let's see what happens. Make sure you like and subscribe to our videos and both of our channels. Thanks for watching.